Hi y'all, welcome to the channel. Today, while I was working in the garden, I was thinking about what I'm gonna plant next, and I thought, why not share with you guys the things that we have an opportunity to still get in the ground here in Zone 8A. So, um, there are 11 things that we can get growing as far as um, food-wise. I'm sure there's other things that are not food that we can still have a chance to get going. But I wanted to take a second and share with you um, the 11 things that we can plant here and share with you guys the things that we plan to plant here and of course it may change um, we're always changing um, we can never make up our mind it seems we're going to start so, by going over the different vegetables and I will put a link into the description down below to share with you where this information come from it comes from the almanac uh, website uh, and there's a um, a section there that you can put in your planting for uh, 2023 and it'll pull up all the vegetables and when to, the times to plant them so if you're not in zone 8a you can put in your zip code and it'll pull up where you're at and give you the information for your area so it's fairly easy to use so let's just jump right into the different vegetables that are um, we're able to plant here and the maturity uh, days to maturity that those plants are going to need. They all are in alphabetical order and we're going to start off with cantaloupe. Cantaloupe's maturity days are between 80 and 90 so that's a good one to get started and that's one that we'll probably plant here on the homestead. We do like cantaloupe quite a bit so we're going to probably plant, be planting that. All right and the second one is going to be corn. Uh, corn is maturity date is anywhere between 60 and 100 depending on the variety that you um, plan on planting whether it be grain popping corn or sweet corn all right so all of that plays into effect of the harvest time for the corn all right and yes we plan on planting that um, I think we're going to do popcorn so we're going to see how that plays out um, I may even throw in some grain corn I'm not sure yet all right so the next plant is going to be the eggplant. Uh, the eggplant's maturity days are from 100 to 120. All right, um, we've not eaten that one here. I am considering planting that so we can give it a try. Last year I tried it and it was uh, just in so infested with pests that I was unable to um, get any harvest from it and to be able to know if we like it. So we're going to give it a go again this year just at a different time of planting to see if that maybe um, will work better for us. All right, and the next one is going to be okra. Okra's maturity rate days are going to be between 55 and 65. Um, I've already planted okra. Um, we won't be planting it again. Um, the family likes it, but they just don't like it that much, and certain varieties of okra just keep giving. All right, so um, the next thing that we're going to... Um, mention is going to be potatoes. It's not a seed, but you can plant the seed potatoes, which are the potatoes that have the um, eyes that are already forming or the sprouts that are forming on those. So um, those seed potatoes can be planted. Um, the maturity rate for potatoes, depending on the variety that you're growing, can be between 80 and 100. And those are one of the uh, plants that we're going to be trying to plant again this year, you know, this season. All right, um, so I'm hoping to get a second harvest from those to make that investment, that first investment, worth the potato harvest this year. So I'm really hoping that I can bump it up. Um, there are varieties of potatoes that I found that I'm more partial to this year. So um, I'm going to try again, and if they produce the same, uh, same amount of potatoes, um, I definitely will be keeping those on the homestead, and I'll share with, the, with you those varieties. Um, when the time comes to planting those. All right, the next one is going to be tomatillos. Tomatillos uh, maturity days are between 60 and 80. Um, here I've not had the best luck growing tomatillos earlier in the season, so um, I might try to get those growing um, this round uh, to see if we can get those going. Um, some vegetables do better in certain climates at certain se in certain seasons. And I guess that also depends on the variety that you're growing. Um, some will do better in certain times of the year. Okay, so um, watermelon is the next one. 
uh, watermelons maturity days uh, are 65 to 100 again depending on the variety uh, of watermelon that you are growing uh, here we grow the orange glow watermelon we have some watermelon already down um, they were volunteer watermelons but I'm going to try to get watermelons going again uh, those are one of the things that we very much enjoy here so we're going to try to get going get that going again get a second round of uh, watermelons going again um, I'm hoping that the second season will be just as good if not better than the first um, but this is all learning experience uh, which time of the year is better to grow which vegetables for each person because we all are not the same next one is going to be squash winter squash uh, and their maturity days are for between 60 and 100 depending again on the variety of winter squash that you are growing okay um, each variety has a little bit different maturity rates so those are all going to be um, dependent on what you plan to plant all right so all the seeds mentioned above can be planted outdoors I did not mention that in the beginning but all the seeds that I mentioned above are going to be um, ready for outdoor planting you can plant those seeds right in the ground okay now these next few vegetables um, we're gonna have to start indoors um, it's just one of those things that we do have some seeds that we need to start indoors all right and those seeds are going to be broccoli broccoli's heart, uh, maturity rate is going to be 90 to 100 and 10 days of course depending on your variety okay so cabbage uh, is the next one and the heart the maturity you harvest it between 80 and 180 days depending on the variety you have as well all right um, we all kind of you know harvest at different times some of us harvest those younger heads and I'm one of those ones that gets a little impatient and goes and harvests a little early so um, and the the final vegetable is going to be cauliflower. Um, cauliflower can be harvested uh, between 50 and 100 days after planting. Um, again, all of these depend on the varieties. So again, now, let's guys. go over the ones that I will be planting uh, this round. Uh, we will be planting cantaloupe, corn, eggplants, potatoes, tomatillos, watermelon, and maybe some more winter squash. Of course, our broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. Okay, so we'll be planting, getting a lot of seeds started this, this go around. It's looking like I've been trying to spread my time out, but the heat has just been atrocious, almost unbearable. The heat index uh, yesterday was 106, so, and it's only the 1st of July. I'm not looking forward to the summer, but it's coming. Y'all don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell. And until next time, happy homesteading.